Coming up next is Media News number 177. It's an all comic book movie update. We're going to concentrate primarily on the DC Universe, specifically the Justice League. There's a Justice League film out there kicking around at Warner's. Must have something to do with the Avengers. Jealous! <laughs> Must have something to do with it. Also, we're going to talk about, oh, Barry Soddenfeld is going to bring a, a DC team to the silver screen that you would never guess in a million years, but we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about who's going to write the music for an upcoming Superman movie, and we're going to throw in a little bit of Turtles, which isn't DC, of course, but it's a comic book. All that and more coming right up. The number one media source at Helen Keller College. Here's comic book man and JR. We come by the circus atmosphere quite naturally, as we were all raised by carnies. <laughs> Media News, episode 177, Death by Puppy Nips. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video. Out it's time for... Media News. Media News. And Media News is coming to you from this place. Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Sure where the tar never stops flowing in the streets. It, it bubbles away. Yeah, it's stinky here, too. <laughs> Alternate Reality, where all my new comics are always 15% off every day for everyone. This, of course, is an all... Comic book movie edition, Ooh, DC, course, for the most part. Stick around part. a little bit at the end. Yeah. Uh, all DC edition of comic book news. We're going to start off with, oh, Marvel does an Avengers movie, and it makes, what, $7 trillion or something? Yeah, last count it was $80 gazillion. <laughs> 80 gazillion dollars. It makes a lot of money. It makes a lot of money. Yeah. And, of course, one of the things I said after we crossed the $1 billion mark to, to, to this man DC's here, DeBo, was, was, hey, you think they're having any meetings at the Warner boardrooms here? <laughs> <laughs> And guess what? Yes, they did. Yes, they, they did. did. They had a they big did. meeting, and uh, here's here's how it's going to shake out, kids. Oh, they've got this little franchise called Justice League. They do. Yeah. They have they have their own group, which yes. is which is kind of fun because Avengers was actually created. Don't we have our own group? As a response to the Justice League, if you remember your comic lore. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. But now the Justice League movie is going to come out because of... Justice League was created. Fantastic Four was the response yeah. to that. And then the Avengers. And the Avengers. Uh, but here's how it's going to shake out. Uh, DC slash Warner has decided that, yes, we are going to get the inevitable Justice League movie. But unlike the Marvel tactic, which was character, character, character film leading up to the Avengers. Which worked out quite well. Which for. worked out quite well. You're going to get a Justice League film, and then your side characters are going to f split off from there and get their own films. Which uh. sort of makes a lot of sense, because if they did it the other way around, everybody would, would say they're copying Marvel. And it would seem like dirty water. Now, do they have a mind behind this? Is there a brain? Is there a creative well, thrust? Overall, this? Christopher Nolan is still in charge of the DC universe. Uh, on film. Uh, on film. and uh, But they have hired a screenwriter, Will Beale, who has a film coming out later this year called Gangster Squad with Sean Penn, which has a killer fun trailer if you see it. It's in theaters now. Uh, he is writing the screenplay. He has yet to turn in his first draft because... Will Beale's a busy man. He is working on a Logan's Run remake right now. He is working on a reboot of Lethal Weapon right now. So he has, yeah, he has other other things in the fire. Also on the DC side. So Justice League is taking its time. Probably. Slow, and, slow and boat to China. That's not a bad idea. Give it a little breathing room in between the Avengers coming out and Justice League so it doesn't look like copycat type. <laughs> Okay. Uh, on the other side of that, they've already they've hired yet another screenwriter for Wonder Woman, okay. and that would be Michael Goldenberg, who worked on the Green Lantern film that nobody likes to talk about. Uh, he worked on Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is a huge franchise we're all very well aware of. Uh, that kind of is still on the back burner, but at least they've hired another screenwriter to try and crack the Wonder Woman franchise that nobody seems to be able to get there. Well, who's in charge of that franchise? Up. Any idea? Uh, well, it's, or is it just sort of floating around out there and Warner's just throwing the, the a body at it? Warner's DC Chris Nolan world. Well, ironically, right. Joss Whedon had a big crack at it. Joss Whedon mm -hmm. took a crack at that Once about five time, or yeah. six years ago and, mm -hmm. and just could not seem to get a handle on and it. And he would have been a good choice. And that that's Avengers aside. I mean, you just look at Buffy and you could tell that he would have been a good good hand Correct. for Wonder Woman. Correct. Now we have yet another DC story coming. Yes, we do. Shall yes, we, we do. do. Um... When you think of other teams in the DC universe... When you think of something to drink, think of C-A-N-F-I-E-L-D, apostrophe. <laughs> yes, when you think of other teams in the DC universe, uh, this one might not be the first one that comes to mind. It sure wasn't with me when I heard it, but if it works, and that's a big if. Well, that's an awfully big if. Well. But if it works, this could be a hell of a movie. And of course, I'm talking about... The Metal Metal Man. Man. Metal yes. Man. Do we have any Metal uh, Men here, Captain Man? Yes! We yeah, we did. These folks right here. The the these folks, the metal, metal men. You see, hours and hours and hours of pre-production work going. <laughs> <laughs> well, this could be like, hey, I got a book comic here. I'd this could be, be like metal men. Smart. 
this could either be really fun or really goofy and kind of stupid. But yeah. Well, they've put a they put someone in charge. It's Barry Sonnenfeld who made all of the Men in Black movies. Yeah. Well, after charge. this last one. No, no the last the one is uh, it is not a huge success like the first one was, but it is a respectable success around the world. But didn't he also do uh, Adam's Family? Or am I uh, thinking of someone else? No, that would be Barry Sonnenfeld. Okay. As as would I believe uh, Wild Wild West, but we won't talk. About it. We won't talk about well, that. Well, they're, they're doomed. <laughs> yeah, not they're necessarily. Doomed. Like we said, it could go either way. Well, I, I think a Metal Men movie would be great if it was done right. Of course, all these movies would be Doesn't great. Doesn't one of them stretch? Right. I forget my Metal Men more. Yeah, well, well, they all sort of, they actually, they all sort of stretch. They all sort of oh. stretch. They all have different things. Some are liquid, like mercury, and, and some, some like gold, you know, are stretch, platinum stretches. Uh, and lead, lead doesn't really, lead doesn't. Uh, who the hell is this? Lead. Uh, I, oh, and iron doesn't, and iron doesn't, and tin sort of does. And there's one lame one who stretches soup, and yes, that doesn't matter. Really, nobody cares about that. All right. Uh, anyway, so that's coming. Uh, what's Dark Knight is the next film that's actually coming out. Yeah. Uh, soon. Soon. Very Thank soon. Very soon, our time. Uh, what's up with that? Anything? Well, uh, sort of, kind of, by way of, uh, of a side story, but the, okay. the, the Hans Zimmer, who did all the scores for Chris Nolan's Dark Knight films, all three okay. of them, yeah. has now been hired to do the score for Man of Steel. Oh, really? Which is pretty interesting because about, well, I don't know, about a year and a half ago, Hans Zimmer said, I will not be doing the score for, for Man of Steel because Zack Snyder has his own boy that, that does his scores for his films. Exactly. Reach into your pockets, and there you are. How much you need? No. How much you need? No. 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 Yes. I don't have time. Yes, I would love to do the Man of Steel. <laughs> okay, you, you get started. <laughs> but one thing you will probably not hear in Hans Zimmer's Man of Steel mm. score yes. will be the familiar strains of John Williams' Yeah. Renowned theme. I don't think you're. I, I don't think you're ever. I. I think if anything, you may hear John Williams' theme at some point, three movies down the road. Oh my! Oh, I'm really. Yeah, you're really yeah. wishing. That's wishful thinking. Three movies movie. down the road, over the end credits, someplace. Yeah, no, don't don't count on that. Yeah, don't count I on think that. I think the days of that are over with. Thank you very much, Superman Returns or Reborn or whatever the hell that thing was. Brian! Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? If, if Zack Snyder is doing this complete retooling of Superman, then maybe that theme song probably shouldn't be in there because it just would harken back to other things. And You're going to go down that road, make it a complete split. Yeah, I, I guess, although he's still not wearing any pants. So. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Uh, I mentioned at the top of the show that uh, we're going to have a little bit of indie news. Here's the indie news. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, of course, as everyone on the Internet knows, Mr. Transformers... Michael Bay has gotten a hold of the turtles, nice. and he's going to make them Slow humans well, who are mutated into turtles, as opposed to turtles who are mutated into humans. Ninja, Ninja Turtle sort fans, of kind of and I know there's a lot of you out there that still love the Ninja Turtles. You're, you're, you've heard this story. Michael Bay got the rights to do it, and the first thing he did was he said, we're taking the teenage and the mutant out of Ninja Turtles, and it's just going to be called Ninja Turtles. And all of you fans out there cried okay. foul. And bless yeah. your hearts, it worked because the project has been put in turnaround. Really? Yes, it is off. It is, is off. Someone else besides Bay getting it? <laughs> uh, the pe well, no, not so far. What uh, I've heard is that uh, uh, P the production people that have been hired yes. have been told uh, you've been summarily dismissed. You can move on to other projects. This thing is on indefinite hold. So fans, you cried long enough and loud enough, and you're getting probably your teenage and your mutant put <laughs> back into your Ninja Turtles. Hey, your good. chocolate and your peanut butter are going to be back together. You know, for years I didn't care about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that first movie came out, and I read Dave Kerr's review, and I watched the movie, and he had an, he had a very interesting take on it. The Turtles were a bunch of were essentially a bunch of kids who were very happy with the fact that they're outcasts. There's not a lot of angst. There's not a lot of whining. Exactly. There's not a lot of a lot, a lot of strung and derm about about no. their lot in life. In fact, they're very happy and very comfortable with their lot in life. Fun loving kids. And that was the best part of the movie for him. And you know what? That's not a bad. No, it's that's not a bad, not a bad, bad angle to, to take. Why it. darken that up and muddy it up if you don't have to? I don't. I don't see the reason for it. You know, if you're not running with the crowd, that's not necessarily such a bad thing. Nope. 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 I think so. Don't get worked up about it, kids. And that's it. We're done with Fisher out of here. We got no more media news. But go to the store's website. Check out all of the media news that Bocephus sends me that I post up there. And. Uh, all of this man's reviews, and where is the store's website at? Do you know, you know, man? This I, man? Do you know? Do you know this man? Do you know? Man. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. No. Sarah knows. I don't know where you were. All right, Queen of Redundancy here. www.myalternatereality.com. So, go to the store's website, check out all of his reviews, all of Bo's news, and tell your gesticulations. This is Comic Book Man. And this is good old JR and 
We'll talk again. And we'll talk again. <laughs> again. Bye. Get out of my yard. <laughs> hey, you want to save 20% off of everything in the store? Then show up on the 20th of every month because the 20th is Founders Day here at Alternate Reality. And on Founders Day, everything except this week's new comics and bulk supplies is 20% off. That's right, every single thing in the store is 20% off every 20th here at Alternate Reality. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>